Welcome to Osmos Essentials. Today we're diving into the top three upgrades for your P1S printer. All right, let's get started. While the Bamboo Lab P1S printer comes with really good features, the one thing that it lacks is the lighting. As you can see in the video, the left side of the print is really lit up, but the right isn't. Especially if you're doing really big prints and you're trying to look for warping and checking up on your print, it's really hard to tell because the slightest bit of warping can ruin your whole entire print. Now the best way to combat this issue is to get the BL LED controller made by the Dutch developer. I've looked online for any other alternatives, but this one is the best one by far. It's simple as connecting the controller to your computer, downloading the firmware, and inputting your 3D printer's information on. Once it's saved, you're able to connect the wires together and apply it to your printer. For a more detailed tutorial, check the description. Since the controller is all set up now, I needed a riser. The riser not only gives me a spot to install the LEDs, it also prevents the feed line from rubbing on the glass. Since it'd take me a while to come up with a riser, I looked online and found plenty on there. Whether you have the X1 Carbon or the P1S, there's plenty of options. And the riser that I used will be down below. After about 3 hours the print was done, the only issue with this riser is that it didn't have a slit for me to feed the wires through. I used a hot blade to make the initial cut, and then I used sandpaper to sand it down until it fit. The 24 volt LEDs that I got already had the double sided tape, so it was a really easy process to install. The next step is to set up the wires. One of the end plugs comes straight from the 24 volt power supply. All you're going to need to do is connect two of the wires on one end and connect it to the actual controller itself. I found the best way to mount the controller is on the back side, that way it's just not visible. I connected all the wires as you guys can see. Use double sided tape as well just to hold it in place. Alright there you guys have it, once you plug it in there's no further adjustments needed to setting this up. The lights will work alongside with how your original lighting system works. When there is an issue with the printer the lights will turn red and once a print is complete it will turn green. The downside of 3D printers is that it produces a ton of waste. Whether you're switching colors or even just printing large pieces, a lot of waste can be produced. There's a ton of different waste collector designs online, however I decided to make my own. If you guys like the design, check the link below and download it for free. This design uses magnets which you can find on Amazon or Alibaba. And if you do decide to use this design, the settings will be set as for ABS filament. You may have to adjust it depending on the type of filament you're using. Because this waste collector uses magnets, it can just attach to the back very easily. It also has a built-in ramp to prevent it from overflowing inside of the printer. And finally we have an AMS upgrade. This upgrade allows you to keep your filament really dry. It's important to keep it dry because filament absorbs a lot of moisture from the air which will sizzle and pop as it passes through your printer's hot end, causing blobs, under extrusion, and other defects. I went online and found these printable boxes that fit perfectly inside of your AMS. I also bought this reactivating silica gel from Amazon called Dry and Dry. It turns pink when it's saturated and you're able to put it in the oven or microwave to reactivate it. So there you guys have it, the top three most useful Bamboo Lab P1S upgrades. If you guys have any questions or if there's something that I've missed, please leave it down below. And again, all the resources and material I've used has been in the description below. And check out my Instagram, Osmos Essentials.